Iconic, innovative, game-changing. When it comes to this RC buggy, you won't fall short on flattering adjectives or superior performance. It's considered by most to be the first production race-ready off-road machine. With aliases such as Six Gear, A-Stamp, and Gold Pan, this California kid completely dominated the RC racing scene for the better half of a decade. Today, Vintage Backyard RC is proud to bring you the world champion RC-10. Hello friends, and welcome to Vintage Backyard RC. Well, today's a fantastic day because we're finally getting an original RC-10 gold pan out on the track to see how it performs. Now, this car is perhaps the most famous RC car ever made. A quick internet search will yield you hundreds of web pages and Facebook groups and Instagram accounts all dedicated to the original RC-10. People love collecting them and restoring them, and they still love racing them as well. And whether you're building yourself an original car, or a replica car, or a what's new is old build with some fancy hop-ups, this car has and always will do one thing great, and that's perform. So I can't wait to get it out there on the track to see what it does. Now I could bring you a two or three hour video of the history of this car alone. We're not gonna do that. Uh, others have done that well. What I will bring you guys is some nice running footage of the car, some cool slow motion at the end, and a chat. So without further ado, let's have a look under the hood, see what makes this thing tick, and get her out on the track. Here we have the legendary Team Associated RC-10. This gold pan beauty absolutely destroyed the competition on its debut. So why do we use the term gold pan anyway? Well, it all starts off with this gold anodized aluminum pan style chassis. It was lightweight and strong, and when attached to the matching aluminum motor plate, it also helped dissipate heat from the motor. These chassis are often nicknamed by the corresponding letter that's stamped on the back half of the chassis. For instance, this is an A stamp. It signifies the approximate production age of the chassis. It also signifies whether the chassis was drilled for the original six gear transmission or the later stealth transmission. The front half of the chassis is finished off with a bolt-on aluminum nose plate that's supported by two parallel aluminum tube braces. Out back, we have a marvel of 80s engineering the six gear transmission. And it's referenced as the six gear trans because of its internal drive gears, which consists of two drive cup gears, two idler gears, and two top shaft gears. And yes, I know if you add the spur gear and the pinion gear, it's technically eight gears, but let's leave this legend alone, all right? These internal gears are assembled as a gear cluster that gets sandwiched in between two nylon gear cases. The differential action is pure genius and uses an externally adjustable ball differential to synchronize with the top shaft and internal top gears. This allows fully independent operation of both the left and right side of the transmission. This harmonious syncopation between the internal and external gears gave this car superior corner rotation over its competitors of the day. Another thing Team Associated got right the first time was their extensive use of nylon for support pieces, such as A-arms, bulkheads, battery boxes, and mounts. The nylon was much stronger than the toy grade plastic used by some of the cars back in the day, and much lighter than some of the metal bits used by its competitors. The buggy came with fiber front and rear shock towers that were mounted to heavy duty nylon bulkheads. Threaded adjustable turnbuckles were also included throughout the car and the dual bell crank style servo saver keeps the steering servo safe from damage. The 10 included these legendary oversized front and rear oil filled adjustable coilover shocks giving the buggy superior long travel plush suspension. An optional adjustable front sway bar was also included with the kit. 1.6 rear knobby tires came with the car, and up front we had 1.9 ribbed front tires. The tires were mounted to these nifty three-piece nylon jelly bean style wheels. Aluminum rear mounted bulkhead tubes support this cool Lexan adjustable wing. And of course, the RC10 came with one of the most recognizable buggy bodies ever produced. Today we're using this amazing reproduction body made by Boki Racing. 
And here's our six gear runner that we're gonna burn some laps with. Now this car is mostly all stock. I am gonna run it with the kit tires as well, just to get a good baseline for the pro cars. So keep that in mind when we look at that lap time. Wow, well, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, it's always better when the car is faster than the driver. Admittedly, I'm a little rusty, but we did put down a good lap. So without further ado, let's see what the RC10 Gold Pan did. The Gold Pan did it in. Ten point six seven seconds. Now I know that's slower than our other pro cars, but keep in mind, guys. This car is running the stock tires, the hard fronts, and the semi-worn out rears. So that is a fantastic lap for stock tires. This car is a pro, and I love it. So let's hit the slow motion, let's have a chat, and let's have a chat down below. Stand by. Well, what can I say? This car is legend for a reason. It put up with my abuse all day, and we got everything done on the first take without breaking any parts. For me, that six gear sound reverberating through that aluminum chassis, it just gets to me. I love this car. And once you drive one, you don't want to stop. Handling today, the car was on point. The front tires are pretty hard, so I'm sure you'll see in the slow motion videos or even the replay that the car was pushy mid-corner. No big deal, a new set of tires would actually fix that, but I wanted to run it as it was. And there's no doubt in my mind that if I put those soft Schumacher tires on it, like I run on the other pro cars, this lap time would drop. But I wanted a good baseline, and we're also going to run other versions of the RC10 where we'll run the pro car tires. For me, my first contact with this car was my cousin got one in the mid 80s when they first came out and I have a great memory of my uncle and my dad and my cousin and I sitting at their kitchen table putting this thing together. I instantly realized this was no Hornet. What a race car and I love it. So that's it guys. We appreciate you watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like and ring that bell and we'll be back. I'll chat with you all down below. Take care.